my name is Troy Dicudo. I'm the hyperbaric safety officer here at South Coast Wound Care Clinic, and I'd like to show you how the hyperbaric chambers operate. All right, um, welcome to our chamber area. Um, inside here, we're going to accept the patients over from the wound care area. They'll come on in, you know, for their treatment. I'll introduce myself, and I'll go over some of the safety, you know, methods that they should be aware of. Again, it's a repetitive thing. Um, I'll ask them. Uh, did you bathe today? You're not wearing any colognes, any perfumes, no hairsprays or anything like that, no makeup. And if you are, you can go over to our restroom area, you can wash it off. I'll hand out, you know, towels or whatever they need. I'll give them specialized clothing when they come into our area, which is 100% uh, cotton garments. Uh, we have them sized out for each patient uh, for their comfort. And they're pretty nice because they have to say hyperbaric medicine on it. Patient comes in, they have our garments on, our linens on, on our stretcher, the patient sits down on the stretcher and what I do at that point, explain to them again our safety procedures and then I'll place this device which is a grounding lead to the stretcher on the patient's wrist and what that does is it physically grounds the patient to our stretcher and what that equates out to is that the oxygen, we don't want any possibilities of static electricity sparks for the patient from moving around and things like that so we'll ground them to the patient because as we know static electricity and oxygen don't play well together. The patient's on the stretcher, I'm speaking with Mrs. Smith, the constable, okay here we go, lock the patient in and then we transfer the patient into the, into the chamber. Once the patient's inside the chamber, we'll hand them this device right here. And what this is, it's just regular air for the patient to breathe. Uh, sometimes the physician will require on their treatment air breaks. And that, that's what this, this device is. It's just normal air pumped into our system. Uh, the mask is issued out to each patient individually. And it's given to them throughout their entire treatment. They're the only patient who will be utilizing this mask. And once it's done, it's sent out to be uh, sterilized and it'll come back into our, into our uh, chamber area. Um, once they're inside, we hand the mask to them. Everything's okay, Mrs. Smith. We're gonna continue the treatment. When I get to this portion here, I'll assure the patient that I'm going to close the door, everything's going to be fine, and I'll be talking to you momentarily. I'm gonna come over to the side so we can start the treatment. The patient is inside the chamber. How are you doing now? Doing okay, we have hand signals that we can use or we can pick up the, uh, the receiver and I'll explain to Mrs. Smith, okay, Mrs. Smith, we're going to start your treatment now and then I'll utilize the control panel and then we'll start the, uh, the descent for Mrs. Smith. And I'll remain in this area for each patient throughout their entire treatment. So the patient is comforted by the fact that someone is here that they can speak to, that they can physically see during their treatment for their comfort. Once they've completed their treatment and we've brought them back up from, from their depth, it's just the same process but in reverse. Talk to the, pre, the, the patient, Mrs. Smith, you did great today, you know, it's awesome, we're done with your treatment, I'm going to take you out of the chamber now, how are you feeling? She's feeling well. During this process, it's just everything in reverse. I'll take the patient out of the chamber, we'll transfer them over to the stretcher, we'll take their vital signs again. We'll check inside their ears again to make sure that their ears, you know, there's no damage to the inner portions of their ears. Um, if they're diabetic, we, we uh, check their sugar levels. Or we do the glucometer again to make sure that their levels are at where we need them to be. If they're not, we'll give them some items according to nutritional values to make sure that they meet their levels. And then once they're done with their treatment, they can walk out of here and drive home if they'd like to.